Nice to meet you, everyone. My name is Hayato Shindo. I'm from Fukushima in Japan, and I am a master student in University of Ice. My supervisor is Yanpei. Now, I will talk about my research. Uh, my research tema is characteristic analysis of auditory perception and aesthetics in sound composition optimization using revised interactive differential evolution. So, uh, I'm not good at English. The slide may have grammar and other mistakes. And maybe you hard to hear my pronunciation. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Okay, let's start. Uh, this is abstract in this slide. Uh, first of all, I will talk about uh, contents of research. Next, I will explain interactive differential evolution. And next, I will show about IDE algorithm. Uh, next, uh, I will talk about experiment and evaluation. So, this part includes experiment design and evaluate method. Next, I will show about um, experiment design result and analyze uh, finally i will talk i will talk about conclude and feature work this part is contents of research uh, so this research has two topics uh, first topic is invite subject to conduct an experiment to create sound with their personal preferences uh, the method uh, is by using interactive differential evolution. Uh, this research changed how individuals are initialized and changed crossover method from conventional interactive differential evolution. The second topic uh, is analyze the sound aesthetic characteristic of these five subjects from selected sound data in the optimization. Uh, the method is using principal component analysis um, to decrease selected sound data dimension uh, and using k-means clustering method to divide them into similar group. What is IDE? Uh, so IDE is applying differential evolution to a problem that requires user's judgment to evaluate. And the user can evaluate by simply comparing the two individuals and choosing the one that they think is good. The user can search for solutions with small number of evaluations by efficient search by using difference vector between individuals. Okay, uh, so IDE is easy to evaluate individual anyway. Uh, so look at figure A. So uh, figure A is interactive evolutionary computation interface. So this interface has uh, many many options. Uh, it's it's difficult for user to evaluate these 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 individuals. But uh, so look at figure B. Uh, figure B is interactive differential evolution interface. So this interface has two options. So it's it's easy for user to evaluate this sound sound state. Problems of IDE. So IDE's problems is the speed of evolution becomes slower because the user evaluates the solution. So uh, for this reason, uh, we can't set too many generations. Uh, for this technology to be practical, it's essential to develop method to reduce user's fatigue. Uh, for example, a proposal of efficient search algorithm and development of an interface with less user's fatigue and improvement of evaluation 
value input method. Okay, uh, this part I will show about ID algorithm. Uh, first of all, uh, initialize the population. And next, uh, take out one individual and set it as a target vector. And next, uh, take out two individuals randomly from the remaining individuals. The differential vector is generated. Next, a uh, random or best individual is taken out of the remaining individuals and used as a base vector. Next, uh, add, add a weighted differential vector to the base vector. Uh, generate a mutant vector. Next, uh, crossing the target vector and mutant vector are generated a trial vector. So, uh, compare the fitness of the target vector and the trial vector and survive the better one to the next generation. Uh, finally, uh, return to process 2. Uh, perform the same procedure for the remaining individuals for one generation. In this part, uh, I, will, I will talk about experiment design. So, uh, the subject uh, listens to the two sounds presented by the IDE and chooses to bring them closer to what they like. And uh, when the experiment is completed, the average value of our individuals is calculated to obtain the sound of the subject's preference. And um, I ask the subject to listen the sound and see if the desired sound is generated. Analyze the sound data obtained in the experiment. Investigate uh, what feature of the subject tend to select, so select the sound. Next, uh, investigate the preference uh, characteristic of the selected sound between the subjects. Next, um, investigate which subjects have the similar uh, uh, sorry uh, investigate which subject have the similar auditory perception uh, preference and aesthetics sound optimization uh, in this research uh, ID system optimize the timbre of the sound uh, the system randomly selects individuals belonging to a generation to create a new timbre. Um, this new timbre is, is like a mixture of initialized individuals. In this research, uh, it's called a mixture sound of initialized individuals. A sampling rate is 441,000 hertz. Uh, each sound is 10 second. Uh, size and format is 500 multiple 2 over matrix. The timbre is optimized at 0.02 millisecond intervals. Parameter setting. Um, number of generations is 8 uh, and individual is 5. Uh, and evaluations is uh, 40 times. Uh, scale factor uh, 1.0. Initialized individual. So the sound of the short phrase. Uh, I use nature sound in experiment. Okay, uh, please listen. Uh, individual number one. Individual two. Individual three. Individual four. 
in Division 4. Last uh, in Division 5. Crossover method. Uh, in this research, uh, not used crossover method, crossover rate. Um, but uh, this this equation used in this research. So uh, the generated trial vector of a conventional IDE is easy out of feasible sound search space due to the different vector. Uh, by modifying to the above formula to keep it within the feasible sound search space as possible. This part is experiment result. So, uh, look at this table. Uh, this table is summarized the result of asking subject uh, whether they could make their favorite sound after the experiment. So, um, oh, as, as you can see in the table, uh, it can be considered that the overall result is good. This table summarizes the characteristic of the sounds created uh, by the user. Um, so, uh, please listen to uh, the one sound. Use a three. Use a four. Use a five. The one sound's preferences are clearly different compared to the other four subjects, and user three, user four, and user five uh, may prefer quiet and calm sounds. The taste of user three and user four, who created the sounds of the insect things uh, more quietly, are very similar. And. Um, User 2 uh, had exactly the middle preference of all subjects. Uh, this figure is plotting the result of classification into five groups by claiming the method after principal component analysis. And so this table uh, summarizes the characteristic of each group. So, um, so I a randomly choice individual uh, from each group. So, okay, uh, please, please listen uh, red group sounds. Okay, uh, yellow groups. Uh, and uh, green green groups. Okay, and uh, blue group. Okay, uh, 
uh, rust uh, proper group. This table summarizes the sound selected by each subject in the last generation. So, uh, user 1 is a um, loud volume and high density of sounds and occupies all of the red groups and almost all sounds were selected from initialized individual 2. And user 2 is converges loudly to the yellow group the volume isn't as loud as the red group. Initialized individual, individual 4 is the main element, but individual 1, 2, and 5 are also selected next. And user 3 is divided into green and blue groups. Uh, there is no loud volume, but quiet volume. And user 4 is Converges are loudly to the purple group. The element of each initialized individual are include, included in well balanced manner. So user 5 is uh, well balanced except for the red group and uh, has sound characteristics selected by user 2, user 3, and user 4. Okay, uh, as the first principal component increases and the second principal component decreases, so um, the element of each individual that make up the individual of the last generation increases and the sound density increases. So uh, only user 1 is more biased than the sound selected by other users and sound preferences is independent. Conclusions so The create sound optimization system can create sounds close to the taste of the subject. By using principal component analysis, each individual of the last generation could be represented on the graph with one point of the principal component. The selected sounds were classified into groups using. Oh, sorry, uh, this character mistake. So the, the selected sounds were classified into groups by using the Kenwin's method. So, um, analyzing each group, so the characteristic of the sound selected by the subjects and the relationship between the subjects were found. Future works. So, uh, my future works has two themas. So, first theme is, is uh, many subjects need to be able to create their favorite sounds. So, uh, I will increase the number of subjects to justify the system. Uh, second theme is the time spent in one experiment uh, takes 20 to 30 minutes one subject. So uh, I will find ways to reduce the time required uh, for one experiment with shorter sounds and fewer evaluations. Uh, this is uh, references. Thank you for listening.